name's Adrian Richards, I'm a uh, plastic surgeon and I'm the surgical director of Aurora Clinics. Um, today I'm going to be talking uh, about the SMAS. In a previous video I talked about the SMAS, the SMAS, superficial muscular neurotic uh, uh, system in the face. So I described what it is and basically it's a sheet which lies under the skin which supports the tissue which surgeons can modify. Okay, so skin over the top, um, surgeons there's another sheet like layer underneath which you can't see, which we can tighten up. Okay, why is it important for surgery? Because we can modify it. Okay, so a subcutaneous facelift, that's a skin only facelift, goes above the SMAS. So the surgeon will go between the skin and the SMAS layer. So skin, SMAS layer, go between the two. Okay, okay. a deep plane facelift surgeon goes underneath the SMAS. So they, won't, they don't go between the skin and the SMAS, they just go in a deeper layer between underneath the SMAS. Okay? A subperiosteal or a mask facelift, the surgeon is going on the bones. That's a deeper layer itself. Okay? Now, there are advantages of each. Okay? So subcutaneous advantages is it's relatively safe, the nerves because the nerves lie, the nerves which power the face, that's the facial nerve branches, okay, yeah, which supply the muscles, yeah, are underneath the smash. So in a subcutaneous technique, the nerves are project, protected. It's very good for tightening up sort of very loose skin in this area and the neck, but it's not uh, 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 very good um, if you really haven't got a lot of loose skin in those areas. Okay, and there's a question whether a skin only uh, facelift, uh, although safe, actually has the longevity and lasts as long as a SMAS facelift. Okay, so skin only is one option. Next option is modification of the SMAS, and this can either be done by stitches, which basically are inserted like in a max facelift, which basically reposition and hold the SMAS in the position it was sort of 10, 10 to 15 years ago. Okay, or Techniques which go underneath the SMAS, where near where the nerves are, and actually lift the SMAS up as a layer and reposition it. So it can either be cut, undermined, and repositioned, or it can be sewn back in position. And the sewing back technique is probably a little bit safer uh, because you're not going quite near the uh, near the nerves. Um, so that's a SMAS uh, lift, which as I said, can either be done by stitches or by going uh, underneath the SMAS. Um, and the final technique is the mask lift, or the subperiosteal facelift, in fact which all the, all the wiggly soft tissues of the face are freed from the bones and the whole area lifted up. This was a technique which was <coughs> excuse me, very popular, but is less popular now and because of the recovery time. You tend to get a lot of swelling with that technique um, and can actually uh, cause quite an unnatural uh, tilt to the eyes where the tilt, the eyes have become slightly feline, sort of cat-like. So I hope that's um, explained uh, somewhat this rather tricky subject. So again, SMAT, flat layer, underneath the skin. Options are skin only, above the SMAS, tightening up the skin. Other options, modifying the SMAS, kind of by going under it, pulling it up, stitching it in different places, or uh, by cutting it and moving it around. Okay. And the final uh, option is a mask lift, subperiosteal facelift, which uh, is a very specialised procedure and tends not to be done so much uh, in the UK nowadays. So I hope that's answered a few of your questions. Um, if you have any uh, queries, please uh, either contact us via email at the Aurora Clinic website or just phone us up uh, on 01844 214 362. Thanks very much.